Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Regalia of Men and Monarchs. All right, we're on our last mission. I'm going to go ahead and head back into the dungeon here. Last mission of the area. This has been a little difficult, but the skull mark is not as horrible as I had feared. That's good. I may eat my words in this particular one right here, but we'll see. Okay, survive for 10 turns. That's a long time. Could win the battle in six, so... You're not going to just throw... Um, an infinite number of bad guys at me. Let's see what we got. Oh. Okay, it's the shell that's going to... Yeah, the shell's going to spawn more guys. Kind of hate the shell mechanic. The thing is, we were able to do it because we had so much damage output, right? Yeah, Levant just tanking it is fine, but... Alice here to blow up these guys would be nice. I wonder if Signy would be good here. Could do Diego, Signy... Riff, maybe? Because Sydney does do good area of effect, right? If we put her in the middle of the crowd and she swipes a bunch, these guys are not going to explode, so that's not a worry. But, like, Sydney and Alice working together, or Sydney and Diego working together, we'll probably take out most of these guys while we focus on the big frog. They reset. I'm going to move Griff over here. Alice definitely over here, though. Sydney over here. Yeah, this could work. I'm worried about the lack of shielding, but we might not need it. We can always restart the battle if we need to. Let's let's try this out. Offer your spirit. I prefer not to, thank you. Okay, so Signy can come over here and then leap. But I wanna hold off. Hold off on you too. We move now, yes? I need to hold off on okay, I can only hold off on one of these guys. Um, Diego moving up is probably not a bad idea, so why don't you come over here? Can't shoot anybody, right? Yeah, they're way out of range. Okay. Wait. We're good. On the prowl. Wait for you though. I guess no, you can come up like I don't want to be in the way. But yeah, you come up like here. The shaman can buff them to make their movement speed a lot, so come up here and then buff yourself. Not in rage. Actually, what's the buff? This is a buff, right? Yeah, I'm powered. There you go. Okay. The time is now. Griff's gonna go over here. We can eventually get frog. He's gonna buff his friends. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. The Aegis buffs them and empowers them. I think. But that's good because then Alice can explode them maybe. Come on, baby. Light my fire. Right there. That'll hit three. Theoretically. Some of them will dodge, but. Yeah, I think it missed one, but still, pretty good. Good dodge there, Griff. Good dodge. We yeah, move now. So that yes. shell is going to be constantly making more. So we got to get to it eventually. Or we just survive for 10, I guess. It could also work. So you could pounce right here. Do some solid damage. <laughs> Missed one of them. The other guy dodged. That sucks. Ancestors, hear me roar! <laughs> dodged it again. Holy shit. That's annoying. Let's get this over with. That is really annoying. Um, we could taunt a lot of these guys, right? Since they exist in the area, it's going to be taunted. And so, if I do say so myself. So that'll get at least these three. Come over here. I want to see if I can get to the shaman. At your side. 
you can't quite get to the frog, but that's okay. The frog's gotta go, for sure. That'll help us survive. Green waste? Oh, okay, okay. That gives him the evade, probably. Okay, so much for shields, but it's alright. He was taunted. Yep, taunted there, okay. Okay, good dodge there, Signy. Good dodge. The heat is on! Alright, time to set up this blazing barrier. I would think there. Nope, can't do it with the dummy in the way. Okay, so come over here. Blazing barrier here. Here. That'll work. Weird, but it'll work. Someone's gotta draw the line. This thing you can jump like right there and hit these two guys. That might work. Oh damn it! Jinxed him, but didn't stun him, so that's good. We move now, yes. Okay, I'll sure you can do also a whirlwind like right now and hit three guys. That's great. Let's do that. <laughs> he keeps dodging. I hate the fucking dodges. Has 126 left, so we're almost got him down. Um, in that case, let's go ahead and blitz for you, maybe? No, because Diego could move up and hit all these guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. Because this will give... Okay, we come up here. That'll get you the Shaman. I think. Yeah, it'll get you the Shaman and everybody else in this area, so let's do it. Look alive! That was pretty solid, actually. That was pretty good. Then get out of Alice's way, please. Thank you. Let us strike. Okay, now we can actually strike the frog. And do crescent here. It's gonna be some whittling down, but we get there. Good. Dropped in the fire, which is great. These guys are still taunted, which is also great. These guys are gonna take forever to get to me. Let's get dangerous. Okay. So probably just bounce some fireballs off these guys' heads. Catch! Oh, well, okay, you just totally whiff it. That's fine. Maybe you go help with the frog. Yep, another jinx. It's fine. We move now, yes? Alright, see if we can kill this guy. That was a good hit, but it didn't kill him. Uh, Blitz, Diego would have to walk through fire to get this guy. I don't think he's willing to do that. Ancestors, hear me roar! Okay, good. Shaman down. Go... Hmm. Go beat up the shell. Gonna be a little tough to get in and out of there, but yeah, I think you go and beat up the shell. I think she can live through it. Okay, Diego. Shoot some of these guys, would you? I think you just shoot this guy and he dies. So we can hit him. Here's a little something. Nope, can't hit him. Uh, that keep... didn't happen. Let us strike. Keep dodging. All right, we'll whittle down the frog eventually. He's still taunted. I'm very unclear what happened there. Um, did the game bug out? I think the game doesn't know what to do. Yeah, it's on the, the murky guy, and he's like, um, help. You're in fire, man. Oh, but he's got zero. He just died. But the game bugged. Oh, come on, game. I've got to restart, don't I? Yeah, so he died on his turn because he was in the fire. He should just drop. But the game bugged out somehow. Shit. Okay, so we got to restart this. Damn it. I hate that. Restart runner somewhere. Combat log. Here we go. Restart battle.
At least the game was functional, but the bug out was strange. Okay, so we can do a different approach. That's fine. We need to get to that shell super fast. I think we were doing the right course here, I think. I'll starting here. Hold on. Reset. We all starts out here. And she can still do the fire thing, but then she goes around and helps Griff on that side. Signy can take care of a lot of them. Yeah, we can help. Do that. On the prowl. Okay, so you just want to basically make yourself fleet here. And if you come up here, you're going to be a target. I think you just come up this far, no further. Fine. Um, you come in over here. Can't shoot anybody. Oh, no, you need to hit somebody. All right. Boost that overconfidence as much as you can. The time is now. Go over that way. That one buffs his guys. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, my. The heat is on. Okay, can you come up here and put down a blazing barrier like here? Yeah, that'll work. Let it blow. Okay, and then run that way. Can you help out with the frog later. Okay, missed both of them. That's great news. We move now, yes? All right, so you go and pounce here. That'll hit two of them at the very least. Actually did hit two of them. This guy's gonna die, I think. We should blitz and do enrage, or blitz and do whirlwind. Ancestors, hear me roar! That was solid. One of them's down already. This guy's gonna die. This guy's gonna hit her for sure. Do I have to? You come over here and you shoot this guy and he dies. Actually, just doing a shooting with this, that's enough to kill him. Yeah, just uh, just this. There you go. Nice. Keep boosting out over confidence. And let's see, this guy has no damage on him. Yeah, I think we blitz. No oh, blitz. Money shot could be good. Let's save it. At your side. Take time to get to you. That's fine. Okay, gave him shields. Interesting. I just walked right through the fire, man. What the hell? Oh, the kelpie kick was actually great, but she near the near the shaman. Oh, that one wasn't as good. The heat is on. Okay, come over here. Can you actually do anything right now? Probably just deterrence. Might be good enough. I think he took a little bit of damage from insurance. I don't actually know. We okay. Move now, yes. Now I don't think she can go over to the shell. But I think you go over here instead. Beat up this guy. Actually, you can just come over here and do whirlwind. Six twenty-four. Um, I don't know, man. Ounce, I guess. Could do. No, I think you just come over here and next turn. 615. Poison plus fire should kill him. Unless he dodges it, nah, in which Papa case. Bichu. Yeah, exactly. Let us strike. Alright, you come over this way. And you finishing stroke him, because that's your strongest attack. 
Okay, good. Oh, good miss, good miss. I like that. Okay, he just walked through a lot of fire. He got more shields somehow? How did he get more shields? Oh, because he's going through the, the area, the blue area that Shaman made. Good miss, good miss. I think we just let these guys spawn, whatever. We can survive 10 Let's turns, I think. Get dangerous. Um, yeah, fire here, please. Someone's gotta draw the line. You get jinxed. On the prowl. You gotta kill the shaman. And there's no no question about that. <laughs> One more jump will probably do it. Let's do it. Ancestors, hear me roar! There you go. Shaman down. Ancestors, this kill is for you. Ego, can you kill this guy? You can totally kill this guy. Hit him. Thank you. What can I say? I'm good. For great justice! It's gonna take a while to whittle down this frog, but we'll get there. For great justice! Especially with the with the fire on him. Hate that, that worked. <laughs> So we just need to survive for 10 turns. What turn are we on? Four. Let's get okay. dangerous. Oh, blow this guy up if you would. Thank you. Less damage than I was hoping for. But he is burning. Yes, yes. Alright. Whirlwind would be a waste, but on the other hand, it... Yeah, it has a one. It's it's available every turn, so we should use it every turn then. It'll kill him. All right. Next. I don't want to go towards him. Yeah, because he'll be coming towards us anyway. The signal is just going to be on the front line here. My turn. Woo. Diego, you come up here, and you shoot this guy. Oh, actually, you can go back one step. Shoot him. At your side. Kill the frog. For honor. There you go. Nice. We are not done yet. Go stand in front of this guy so he doesn't go for Diego. All right. Not so bad. So now we gotta move Alice. That's gonna be a little tough. Let's get dangerous. I don't think she can see anything right now. You can put yeah, blazing barrier in the wrong spot. That's not great. Um, let's see. Fireball's not gonna reach. Let's just put our fire shield on right now. Let it flow! The deterrence could be good. They're gonna go for him first. Or he's gonna I'm go the for them pal. first. One of those. Okay, so. I come up here and do this move. Who's that gonna hit? Those three guys right there. 488, which is not gonna kill them. Could do instead, though, is throw. I kind of like the fire thing. I don't see it here. Let's see, nettle jar, deterrence, resilience, sour smoke powder, cracking jar. Sure, why not? We'll do cracking jar. We got four of them. Okay, that did a decent amount of damage. Point, and I'll try. Let's see, if you come up here and do your money shot thing, what is that going to do? Three of them. Or we can just taunt them. Hmm. 
talking to them to doing nothing is actually kind of kind of tempting. You're 24. I think you just kill this guy right here, right? Uh, nope. Okay. Because you're bad at your freaking job here, Diego. Come on. Okay, blitz. I'm not the best shots, except when I am. Look alive. There. Okay. And Griff comes over here and does Crescent, I guess. Nope, bad idea. Bad idea. How about you challenge this guy over here? For great justice! Alright, so he's taunting, he's not gonna do anything. He comes over to attack Griff. Comes over and attacks Signy. Yep. Good dodge, good dodge. Let's get dangerous. Alright, so now they're nicely grouped. I'm gonna just uh, just pretend that was on purpose, alright? There we go. Charred, I'm sure. Turn seven. We're getting we there. We move now, yes? Okay, so you can move around. But I don't think it's necessary. I think you just go in whirlwind right here. Okay, so this guy might just die. I think you come over here. That way they might have to go through the fire to get to you. Do I have to? You come over here. Shoot one of these guys, doesn't matter which. That guy, sure. Damn it, the frickin' dodges. At your side. Okay, then you come over here and apply your Crescent. Oh, except you already used Crescent. Don't remember that, but sure. Okay, he's definitely gonna be dead next turn. There you go. There you go. Yeah, walk right into the fire, why not? Why not? Could destroy let's the shell, but big dangerous. deal. We only have three more turns. We're good. Um, let's see. Can't really do much, can you? Call in the Fire Lord? Kind of seems like a waste. Oh, but maybe the Fire Lord could go in and destroy that shell. Yeah, destroying the shell. I'm kind of okay with that. Don't you? Oh, except he walks so fucking slow, right? Yeah, that's not a good idea. Inferno would seem like a really big waste on this guy all by himself. You bounce a fireball off his head? He is not line of sight. Nope, I think you do nothing. Yes, yes. Don't love the idea of coming up here and bonking him on the head. I think instead you just empower yourself for now. <laughs> so that we can do something with you later. Point and I'll try. Alright, so come up here. You shoot this guy? You can. Do it. All right. You know what? Do it again. Do me a favor. Stand still. Then you might die. Or dodge. Damn it. Ah, Papa Pichu. At your side. Um, finishing blow is not going to take this guy out because of the shields now. So thanks for that, Diego. Okay, we'll get rid of the shields at least. Okay. Griff dodges a kick. Good. Farwell's going to go away at the end of this turn. So now's a good time for Inferno, I think. Place it right here. <laughs> Explosion! One down at least. Burn, am I right? One down. Farwell's gone. That's okay. We can make it happen later. Move now, yes? You come up here and punch this guy as hard as you possibly can. 18, 628. Like this one. There you go. Ancestors! This kill is for you! And really, we just one more turn. We're good. Let's get this over with. They're staying over there for some reason. At your side. Oh, there we go. Okay. 
Hey guys. Sure, would you mind lining up? That'd be great. Thank you. Exactly what they're gonna do, they're gonna line up. Alright, sure. Um Blazing Barrier. Oh, but that would hit Griff. That's bad. Um, how about you come over here instead? Do that. There you go. Let it flow. Okay, the shell's gone now, and we On the prowl. We actually did pretty well there. The bug was weird, but we made it work. Okay. Done to complete. Thank you very much. Now we can go home. Uh, do we want to go home? We don't have to go home. We could. But we don't have to. Uh, looks like there's a quest over here. Alleged location of a puzzle box hidden away by some unlucky chap. Sure. It's a Rubik's Cube, though. I'm going to be kind of pissed. Go. You arrive at the designated place, or at least one roughly corresponding to the drawings. Smothered by the gentle breeze, an interesting rock out outcropping looms ahead, one they presume to be the Antler Rock. The spot from the note. Search for anything that resembles the spot marked in your makeshift map. It may take a while, better prepare for the long haul. Alright. Sometime later, you find the right spot. At least you think so. The soil below your feet is soft, almost clay like. Sure seems like something may be buried underneath. Alright, start digging. Thus, your group begins digging. The way for a payoff proves not long. Hidden away in the shallow hole, you find something. An odd egg-shaped gray object covered in strange ceramic carvings and delicate script, roughly split into three rotating sections. These sections slide flawlessly, shifting from one pick position to another. The note referred to it as a puzzle box, and indeed, there's obviously a trick to open this unusual container. Let's right, so examine the mechanism. The three sections are all decorated with the same sets of symbols, each a different setting on the dial. The sun, the moon, a silhouette of dragon, a silhouette of man, a silhouette of eagle. There appears to be an arbitrary front to the egg, one reinforced with a besilvered lock. A small metal button that connects to the lock. You are certain the alignment of these elements is crucial to open the container. I mean, you're not telling me which is which, so... There's some kind of hint? I'm sorry, but you're right. We're being followed at the border, so I've hidden the puzzle box near the antler rock. Made a rough sketch of its location. Let's only hope soon we'll be able to sit down in a bar in Calendaria, laugh for problems away that the money will make. Dark one ascends, bright one falls. Of his ashes, new life begins. Dark one ascends, bright one falls. On the top section. Dark one ascends, light one falls. So the moon's in the dark. Okay. The bottom section would be the sun, right? Did you look at the hint? Dark one ascends, bright one falls, of his ashes new life begins. The middle section. Of his ashes, new life begins. I'm assuming the dragon. Hmm. You smash the lock open. That's funny. Tempting. Tempting. Dark one falls. Hold on. The dark one ascends. Bright one falls. On his ashes, new life begins. There's only a top, middle, and bottom. Press the button. Nope, not the right combination. Okay. But you could probably just keep going. So it's not the sun that's a bright one. Dark one falls. The dark one... Hold on. Section should be moved to the front. Let's go dragon. So the dark one ascends and the right one falls. 
The dragon ascends. Maybe the man falls. Out of his ashes could be the sun. No, why would that not make any sense? On his ashes. On his ashes. The bright one falls. Maybe bottom section should be the sun still, because that's still bright. But on his ashes, the middle section would be man then. Okay, let's try that. I'm not sure I get it. I could smash this or I could look it up. Unless, of course, it's totally misleading entirely. On his ashes, new life begins. That's the real tricky part for me. I do not understand that at all. So maybe it's not an eagle. Maybe it's a phoenix. So the moon's kind of throwing me off too. Right? Because I think the moon, the moon would be the, well, the dragon could be the dark one, but let's put the moon in the dark one. Dark one ascends, bright one falls. Bright's the sun, I think, is pretty obvious. Nope, not that either. You know what? Fuck it. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it to pieces. Okay. Container remains undamaged. Your limbs not so much. Whoever crafted this egg is clearly thought of this possibility. All right. Different approach. So we can't smash it. Never mind. Good pawn the egg as is. All right. It's on the note. On his ashes and life begins. How about... Maybe it's not sun and moon. Maybe that's too obvious. Maybe dark one ascends is going to be the dragon. And bright one falls is going to be the eagle. Nope. Hold on. That's not what I want to do. All right. Bottom section. Eagle. I think the middle being the man kind of makes sense. Okay. I kind of wish this paragraph told you what order you would put things in so that you could, you know, because what if I don't have a good mental picture of this? Button? No. Ah. We could just sell it as is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look it up. It seems dumb. Speaking of Bones Part 2, so we know what it is. I'm going to go to the internet. And there is a thing here. Uh, speaking in bones, that's funny. By Temperance Brennan. Yeah, the one that... The... Bones. Okay, let's see. Moon on the top, man in the middle, sun on the bottom. We did that. It only works if you do it in order for some reason. Putting top, middle, top first, middle second, bottom third. Oh my god. Really? So I did figure it out. It's just being stupid. Arg. No, we totally did that. Totally did that. So line top section, moon. I guess, yeah, we did the, the top and bottom first, huh? And then the bottom section is sun. And we totally did this, by the way. Now we can press the button. I'm feeling this was totally... Yep. A opened. All right, so that was just silly. Exquisite sapphire and crust necklace. All right, sure. Thank you. 
The thing is, we still have 23 days left, right? So we could stick around for a while here. Um, I think we haven't done this one yet. The Overlook is a dungeon. But if we're going to keep the same group, why not just stay out? Right? Look at our kingdom quest. What else do we have to do? So, oh, that's right. We also leveled up. Ancient Stone Circle. Oh, we need to report back to Miri. Okay, so we do need to do that. Right, he did blow up in our face. Um, right, we also have this to do. Let's see. I will... What will I do? The 30 shields per turn is pretty good. There's 60, rather. I don't know. What's our skill morph? Oh, line of, mar line of sight thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the ban banner now does everything. What does this do? Resets a cooldown to bang. Do not, do not care. Bang does not matter. I just, just brawler, I suppose. I don't know. Nothing really good for him right now. Yeah, I think that's the problem. Is most of these are going to require two or three or four. Does not matter. I think we just keep going. So we could go back to Miri. Alice is feeling really good. How's our first our Kingdom Quest doing? But obviously we're done on them. I'm just wondering how many more we can do. 9 of 19. Kind of just done a bunch of pieces everywhere. And we get them to 15. What's our party level right now? Party level is 14. Oh yeah, so that's definitely going to happen then. That's good. So one thing I did, I did look up in the wiki before uh, to see exactly what was going to go on with the Kingdom Quest. So a bunch of other people have complained that the crafting Kingdom Quest doesn't seem to be working. And in fact, I got an achievement. So the Steam achievement works, but for some reason the game achievement doesn't. But the, the Steam achievement noted that I did 30 crafting items. Now we did craft some trinkets, but the fact that we don't actually have the ability to craft any fine things means that for some reason the crafting thing just isn't working. At least the quality potions. Oh, maybe it just recognized the quality potions. Shoot. Yeah, maybe it did. Shazbot. It's possible. I didn't even think about that. Day construction's done. Um... Yeah, and then we get Miri to friend status, maybe. I don't know if that's possible, but maybe. This was, let's go back to the kingdom. Let's go back to the kingdom. It can take a while to get there. It doesn't really matter. We have all the time in the world, really. There you go. Either there's a cutscene, or if we can just go straight in. No cutscene. All right. Can't go talk to Miri right now. Prospector is okay. And there's the, there's him over there. What do we want to do here? Probably a personal bond, right? Well, Alice is pretty close. All right, let's uh, spend some time with Alice. Get her to the next level there. Where would Alice be? There she is. Hey, Alice. So we'll spend the day. Way to go. I don't think we got her rebel level one. I don't know. Maybe we did. So you just demoted each other, yada yada yada. Things happen. How you doing? Like your dress. Okay, we're good to go. Actually, is that a dress? Those are probably pants, aren't they? Those are totally harem pants. Okay, but now she should be ready to level up if we want to spend time with her. And the Pathfinder is not here, of course, because that would be craziness. Where's Alice? Alice has decided she's not want to be near us right now, but the Prospector we can go visit. Sure, let's go talk to the Prospector. Hello, Winter. What's up? Let's spend some time. <laughs> <laughs> A very silly laugh. Okay, emote each other a bunch. Yep, that's great. Love your hat. Actually, I love your whole outfit, to be honest. Not just your hat. The whole outfit's kind of great.
Okay, another day gone. Uh, Miri's still not here. Where the hell is Miri? She's off until Saturday. So we got two more days to burn until that happens. Okay. Uh, we can go talk to Al Alice at the Alchemist Lab. So that'll actually should level us up. She was at 90 before. This should be ready to go to the next level there. So yeah, spend time. So we get a cutscene. Maybe. Maybe. Right, here we go. Wonderful. Such lovely weather. Gotta love these lazy afternoons, eh, guys? Yes, when the sun begins to go down, don't have to do anything at all. That's the best part of the day. You're here. Not a care in the world. And action? <laughs> oh, it's that the sun is slightly more orange here in Rashatil. Hell yeah! That's an interesting observation. What about you, Kay? I prefer the pitch black nights of darkness. Really? That's surprising, you don't look like the type to, you know... Huh? To what? Oh, you know what I mean. Pale makeup, black clothes, runny eyeliner, lots of scholars all around. Ring any bells? Undertaker? Nope. No. What? You're so dense at times, Kay. I really don't recall ever being able to enjoy the day so casually. Yeah, sure. I mean, sure, everyone has their moments of downtime. I'd be dead or crazy otherwise. But now it feels so extraordinarily rare for me not to be on the run. Hell, I've almost forgotten how it feels to be able to keep back and enjoy the silence. Inside from the odd combustion? Come now, can't be that bad, eh? What's a little fire now and then, right? Wonderful! This is the life. Okay, well, good, we boosted up our... We're up with her. Personal bond has grown stronger, yep, yep, yep. Actually ready to level up again. Probably because we performed so well. So, sure, we can be confidant level. I'm okay with that. Spend some more time with her. Get her to level four. Sure, why not? She'd be the first one. Um, We can. We can go to the end. Chase her down. Do it. Confidant. Let's go. Get used to this place. It ain't half bad. Spend time. Let's do it. I know that look. It's the look of doom. Alright. Yeah, okay, I thought you were ready to level up though. Weren't you ready to level up though? Maybe it's maybe it's just not available. We just waste a day for no reason. I mean it doesn't really matter, we have plenty of days, but did we just waste a day? We totally wasted a day, didn't we? Yeah, it's locked off for some reason, I have no idea why. Okay, well, Mary should be ready now, so let's do this. We need to tell her that Stonehenge exploded. I'm sure she'll be happy now. What of the circle you mentioned? And? Well, you see, one of the stones kind of exploded in my face. What? I touched it, began to glow, then it blew up. Just like that? Just like that. Hmm, the circle must have been damaged. One of these stones missing? Yes. I think so, yeah. Add nails up. No expert on magic by any means. These things usually require careful arcane mathematics. I'm not surprised it didn't work. Really? A simple stone? Don't ask me. Hmm. I'll get you a mention in the book for this. Thanks a lot for your time, though. Even if, especially if it exploded in your face. Oh. Wild world, isn't it? Okay. Did you have anything else you wanted us to do? Or was that going to be it? Just wanted to explode it in our face and that was it? Bond grew stronger. Probably need to do another quest for her. But I really want to do this. Because the chance of finding an equipable item would be pretty good. And like getting to her to admire level would be fantastic. I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, so let's see if we can get her up. Because all those perks look really good. So, I'll talk to you. Hello. A good day for a journey. Oh, we can actually spend time with her now. Sure, I guess. Hey, listen. Or is that how we get quests? That's probably how we get quests. A good day for a journey. Want to help someone with something again? What do you have in mind? How do you feel about getting a tan? Presumably, it's slightly magical nature. Okay. That's weird, but sure. Tell me more. 
I'll presume you know of the Red Lands of Shadu, the home of wizardry. Like a novel. It can, it's a great success story, really. Man moves in, man constructs magic enclaves, civilization triumphs over a hostile wasteland. Very novel-esque. But magic is a delicate thing, you know? That's the tricky part. According to two-thirds of modern science and an overwhelming majority of human religions, it's life, or part of life at least. It's like a nuclear lettuce, the essential component of being alive. That's why it makes the dead rise. That's why objects begin to move their own volition. So what does this have to do with me? Patience. See, Shedu is saturated with magic. There, it's like an industry. Magic is quantified, processed, analyzed. If you recall what I said 10 seconds ago, you can imagine that's prone to some crazy side effects. The least of which are the familiars. Sentient books slash assistants for lazy mages, only with extra magic and way too many teeth. Or rather, dumb accidents turn into escape monsters. But why teeth? Magic. Still, magic. Okay. Point is, when magic hits the fan, these things become both less and more than just books. That topic, that line between the animate and the inanimate, it's worthy of further study. So, I need some page from the familiars. A whole one would work too, but I doubt they go in peace. Could you give me some? A sample from less than a dozen familiars would suffice. I'm on it. Thanks, that's great. Great, just be careful with these beasties. Who knows what annoying jinxes they may be laced with. Annoying? Deadly? One of those. One of those. Annoying and or deadly. Alright, so we have a quest. We have a quest. Um, let's see. Quest. Right there, quest. Dangerous literature. Go to the meltdown site. I have no idea where that is, but alright. I'm sure there's a mark on our map. Which we will do next time. Alright, so thank you for watching. This has been Regalia of Men and Monarchs. I'm Peace of the Universe. You're Peace of the Universe too. And I'll see you guys next time.